<laughs> that was no quarter and my revenge right here on the sessions on 107.6 i've been joined in the studio with imogen stone and ross Summerville. hello guys Hi. Hello. Hi. thank you very much for coming in thanks for now, having us tell yeah, me thanks. why we're here we've got something a bit different tonight don't we this is yeah. A, yeah we oh sorry guys wait a minute sorry my mistake my mistake <laughs> i'm chatting on facebook but not on fm <laughs> <laughs> that was the um, no quarter and my revenge right here on east coast fm 107.6 Joined in the studio with Imogen Stirling and Ross Somerville. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Thank you very much for coming in. That's a repeat there. People on Facebook saw us do that already. <laughs> it's not deja vu. I am recording this and broadcasting live <laughs> and doing a Facebook live feed all at the same time. All so please excuse me. Anyway, um, please tell me why we're here. What's it all about? Um, okay, so my name is Imogen Stirling and I'm a spoken word poet. Um, I am complimented with my great musician friend, Ross <laughs> Somerville. Uh -huh. um, and the pair of us are collaborating on a piece of uh, spoken word theatre, I suppose you could call it. Okay. Called Hashtag Hypocrisy, which we are premiering at the Fringe a week today, um, which is very exciting. So yeah, we're just here tonight to um, to share a few a few tracks a few from tracks. the show. Well, yeah. I tell you, let's, let's just get stuck in and let's Life play sure. track number one. Tell us a bit about the first track. Uh, so the first track we're going to do is a piece called Exile that comes pretty close to the start of the show mm -hmm. and uh, it's a it's a reflection on I went on a two-year music tour a few years ago um, uh -huh. and during this time um, I came across this sort of dawning realization of the fact that traveling was so easy for me because I was white privileged and middle class um, and from the UK and I tried not to accept this at the time but it, it, it became quite um, pertinent to my way of thinking and this um yeah, this poem Exile is a reflection on that, I suppose. Uh, exile? Exile. Uh, just go with exile. you in. Beautiful. Standing by the side of the road, cold fingers turn numb from holding this piece of wind tattered cardboard so long. My plans at the mercy of this handcrafted signage of hope. So kindly asking for transport to Frankfurt, to Paris, Geneva, or even this time just 20 miles down the street for a fresh try at this. I never liked hitching a lift, it feels degrading, I'd much rather pay the extra for a better way to get there, but it's good to be authentic, I tell myself, keep it rough, keep it tough, love the vagabond vibes. Yet my rides keep passing and passing with gazes averted This backpack is hurting my shoulders I have not eaten for hours I am in need of a shower And though it's clear no one's passing Because we've too much to carry It allows me to wallow in my fantasy of banishment Put the day down to character enhancement Exaggerate a sob story adequate to guarantee A top performing post on my top performing blog It kind of worked out as I wanted See, Wonderful Exile was our meditated cover bass's name of adventure come melancholy danger come safety the vibrant migrant turned Instagram pretty which did not make me feel discomfort at the time too consumed in the glamour of diaspora and oh, I basked in the fantasy of self-imposed exile, of temporary exile, of wonderful exile, of come home whenever you choose kind of exile. Obviously that hypocrisy was lost on me. My phone's vibration declared there's some message from home, a reminder that I am by no means alone And though I'm shorter on euros than I'd like to be Well, the emergency credit card awarded by my family Is guaranteed that I will never go hungry nor homeless And though this life on the road had its moments of lonesome There never was a time I did not feel welcome, no Rather than displaced, every place offered itself as a new abode for my taking Gifted long-term stay in Berlin, Amsterdam, Montpellier It became an effort to stay away from a home base so, cradled in the strong, muscled arms of my passport, I passed through countries without a second glance. Borders melted in the distance, oblivious to privilege. I thought, surely everyone must live like this. Which was not entirely true. Thank you, that was Exile. That was Exile by Imogen Stone Exile. and Ross Somerville, right here in the sessions. Absolutely brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so thank many you. ideas and so many things going on in there, I don't know where to come in first. <laughs> um, I haven't travelled that much myself, uh, well, I have to say that. I've been to Japan and 
New Zealand, oh. which is almost as far as you can go without coming that's back. That's pretty far. That's that's pretty far. far. That is yeah. trouble. <laughs> Other than that, I haven't really gone elsewhere, any, anywhere um. interesting. Not like anywhere you mentioned in your, <laughs> in, your, in, your, in your track, in your song, in your... It's hard to define. Is it? Um... I mean, it's it's like I'm. I always feel like I'm. I'm a, I'm a soundtrack artist. Um, uh -huh. um, by trade, so like I always feel like it's it's more of a kind of underscore. It's an accompaniment to. So it is still like it's poetry. Yeah. It's uh -huh. poetry. It was like kind of music mm. musical poetry. Musical poetry. Musical poetry. Yeah. 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 I suppose you would carving call it. out something <laughs> new, yet to define it. Yeah. 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 It sounds absolutely brilliant. Anyway, oh, thanks, people are tuned in on our Facebook page or tuned in on FM eventually that I've got the microphones working. Oh. Um, <laughs> how can they be in touch? Have you got a Facebook page, a Twitter feed, a YouTube channel? Indeed, well, we ha we don't have any joint, um, any kind of joint channel, but you can find my work on my website, imogensterling.com. Uh -huh. Very simple. Facebook and Instagram, Imogen Sterling Poetry, all over it. Yeah. Um, and Ross? Um, for me, uh, you can find my Facebook page, uh, Ross Somerville, musician slash composer. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and my SoundCloud is uh, Ross Somerville, composer. That's mm -hmm. right. So you can find all my soundtrack stuff in there. And what we'll do is we'll take a cheesy picture of you both and myself <laughs> under our East Coast Beautiful. FM banners. <laughs> and do it for most of the bands that, most of the bands that come in. So we can we can do uh, we links to your Facebook pages uh, back and forward. Excellent. With us. We'll connect up anybody and all our Facebook pages for anybody out there that wants to be in touch with you guys. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well, let's move on to track number two. Sure. Um, so we're um, skipping a little bit a little bit later through the show um, to a piece called Different. Um, and this poem, track, song, um, is basically about the realisation that there are some types of different which are accepted and, and, and liked and others not so much. And certainly when I was abroad, I capitalised on my difference entirely, whether it be that I was Scottish, not British, that I was a female musician. I used everything to make myself stand out and I really benefited from this. But there are others who do not benefit from the difference quite as much as I did. Okay, just go in a bit. Okay, this is different. Different cells. Different is sexy. Different is celebrated. Different is business. Different is Scottish, not British. Different is vegan, not vegan. Edgy. Different is the sole female busker on a street full of men. Different is the sole ukulele on a street of guitars. Different finds a niche role to keep the pennies rolling, to keep the travel happening, to keep the people buying. Different demands to stand out. Aye, it takes every label, it ticks every box, it collects every category and makes itself a blog, unveiling itself as a... Scottish, female, vegan, digital nomad, low budget travel, voyaging musician, nobody can match it and everybody loves it. Different loves to be loved and different knows what is loved so different teases with its passport, it flirts with its accent, hints at its education to show it is legitimate, different pairs spontaneity with its stability, making clear that though different, it still is safe. Because different knows there are limits to difference, different knows it can only be so different, so it keeps quiet when it needs to, speaks up when required to, and overall knows it must only go so far, and just like that, Different grows hard, different notices others only to judge them, has no scruples when it comes to attention, different prioritizes self-preservation, develops tunnel vision, so different can stay different at expense of all else, and different stays on trend, so that different can sell, so that different is sexy, different is celebrated, different is business, different is exotic, different is exciting, different is enticing, when the right kind of different. That was different Dead. by Imogen Sterling and Ross Somerville right here in the sessions on 107.6. Right. That almost paints a picture or paints a character of different in what yeah. it's yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. My, my, my brain can't quite take it all in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're so right in every way. Oh, um, we've had a wee thumbs up and we've got somebody else join us on our Facebook like feed from Adam hey. Sterling. Yeah, must, my uh, brother! Must be your brother. Yay. Or, uh, hi, Adam. Hello, Adam. Hello, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Um, please share, please like, please be in touch on our Facebook page and share everything back and forward. That's what this is all about. Oh, um, okay.
Let's move on to your um, the big gig we've got coming up next week. The, Indeed. The Fringe Festival. The Fringe, yeah. Tell me more. How did that happen? Where is it? When is it? What? Oh, tell me more. All the tell, details. Tell me all the details. Right. The show is called Hashtag Hypocrisy. It opens a week today, Wednesday the 8th of August, at the lovely Scottish Poetry Library, which is just off the Royal Mile. Um, 7pm every night. Tickets are £7 and £5 and can be purchased through the Fringe website. Um, <laughs> It's a uh, it's a show. Well, I suppose cause the flavors kind of come across, but it's basically about um, Western privilege in an increasingly racist world, and how we as individuals have the power to step up and to do something about it. Hmm. Um, you kind of frame it with uh, kind of stories of of your own as well, like the, the your your kind of life experience and like observations that you that you have yeah as well. yeah I, um, I think it's i mean it's, it's very it's a very grounded sort of piece as yeah well, I think. and it's i mean it, it deals with with quite sort of big serious issues but it, it's very funny too <laughs> it's very funny it's, yeah, it's, yeah, very it's, funny. Funny. it's, it's, yeah. it's got a lot of light-hearted elements to it so it's an entertaining yeah. show to come to oh, yeah. i hope yeah um, absolutely. but it's yeah i found it really interesting because it's, it's quite a novel um uh art form i suppose because it yeah. is this mix of poetry music and theater mm -hmm. um with a lot of storytelling through it, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's it's it it feels very unique to yeah. me when we perform it. Multidisciplinary. Yes, that exactly. Word. That's the word for it. Yeah, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much oh, for sharing. And um, we'll mention the the. Is it, sorry, I was going to going to go back when we step there. Is it just yourself on the bill at that time at that venue? It is, um, it is part of the Fringe Festival, of yes. course. It's part of the yes. huge Fringe Festival that's on in Edinburgh. Indeed. As of. As this of week? I, Next weekend, week? I think. The weekend coming. Tomorrow, yeah. Isn't it? Is it tomorrow? I'm not quite sure. There's, there's things happen tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just yourself that's on the bill. Yeah, I mean, the, the Scottish Poetry Library, the, this is their first year doing the Fringe, which is really cool. And they have a great um, kind of programme across the month of lots of different poets and artists. But for us, we're, we've just got a five night run. Mm. Um, and it's just us as a standalone, standalone piece. Yeah. Again, thank you very much for coming. Oh, no, um, pleasure. Let's move on to track number three. For sure. Um, this piece, um, it kind of comes about halfway halfway through the show, I'd say. It's called Terror. The name is very self-explanatory. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's basically about, at this point, when I, I came back from, from my travels, um, from living abroad, and I came into a society which is very focused on, on terrorism. Um, it's very prevalent in the news and um it's really a reflection on on that and perhaps why it is that we choose to put so much focus on terrorism and and all that goes along with it and just go when you're ready for sure you see i step off the plane and into a world of terror it's on everyone's lips on every front cover perpetrated are taking the places of A-list tabloid shaming, but but while the fear of it dominates, it seems reactions fluctuate and revised definitions isolate. Because you think terror is terror, it's in the name, it's terrifying. Dictionaries describe it as violence or the threat of violence. It is generic, prevalent and tireless. Terror is terror. Ungendered, uncoloured, yet we see its severity rendered, well, subjective. To demonstrate, when ISIS hit Paris, it was a travesty. Facebook came out with its checkpoints of safety. Friends turned their photos to tricolor memory, yet only the day previous, Beirut had experienced its worst hit in decades, just like Paris. Claimed by the same, both city outsiders, but we grieved with the French and kept Lebanon silence, and that's no anomaly. Because we all cried for Nisa, not Bangladesh. Kept quiet on Baghdad to glorify Manchester. Favour to Vegas over Mogadishu. The issue seen here is their date proximities. The incidents mere days apart. But still the conflict goes further. As we unearth hashtags to pomp and parades. No longer celeb based but now stately placed as icons of the irony that fake computer prayer is used in the face of religion we fear. Hashtag pray for. Those words so unsettling for their presence brings the silence of hashtag ignore. Did you know that 665 articles are written per death in a western strike, but just 60 if it happened elsewhere? 
because I didn't. Newspaper covers give victim profiles from incidents deemed most significant. A gesture extended even to, well, the Western killers, be it Stephen Paddock's music choice, Dylan Roof's softer side. And though we don't condone them, we don't quite other them. We keep them apart from the rage we call terror, where we can shout ISIS, Muslim, ISIS. Forget about the gun laws and rise of male supremacists, because shh, no one likes a high and mighty moralist. Just... Give us our buzzwords, our latest trend, our greatest craze. Justify our fear with a like on our status. Pat us on the back for political au fait. Stay present in our weariness for when we place the blame elsewhere, it helps us to feel safe. That was Terror by Imogen Sterling and Ross yeah. Somerville right here in the sessions on 107.6. Again, thank you very much. Um, again, so much going on in there, I don't, I don't even know where Yeah, they're very it's, wordy pieces. <laughs> I, I don't mean to, to laugh there, I'm not obviously laughing no. at the subject matter. I'm, I'm laughing at my situation here, trying to pick <laughs> something out of that to, to to talk about just for a second. But there's so much. It, I don't, I've actually got lot. goosebumps, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see that. You've that I can't camera, see it, so, wow. See that. Um, thank <laughs> you, thank you very much. Oh, no, you're um, very welcome. Um, and, and, at this stage, I would normally talk, if I had a band in right. inverted commas, I would talk about EPs and recordings, but you two have just come together or you've been yeah. working. Um, but have you got any recordings, anything done in the studio, or have you got anything anything else you'd like to talk about? Um, so just before yeah. we, we uh, went into hashtag hypocrisy uh, rehearsals, um, I was working with a poetry kind of hip-hop collaborative called Words With Friends. Right, okay. Um, they're a really cool bunch based in Norwich, spearheaded by a great um, poetry music duo called Billy Pilgrim with the Heartsees Kids. And um, yeah, we basically set poetry and rap to music and we just, a week ago or so, got back from tour in the UK and we, we made an album together called Words With Friends Volume 3. It's on <laughs> Spotify, Apple Music, all those uh -huh. things. Um, it's really good. Thank you, really thank you. It's it's a really like a really interesting collaborative piece. Lots of amazing artists on it. So that was yeah. that was a great project. Um, and yourself, Ross. Yeah, I, like I've uh, <laughs> so I've also done like in addition to this uh, French show, I've recorded a soundtrack for a show called The Edge of You. Okay. Uh, which is um, which is on at the Fringe this year, and um, they're doing the whole the whole month as well. So oh, I have no idea. People. No, no <laughs> idea how they're doing that, but um, credit to them. brilliant cast, cast of four. Um, terrific performance performances, and um, yeah, hopefully enjoy the soundtrack. I'm going to post the soundtrack on my SoundCloud as well, uh, Ross Somerville composer. Mm -hmm. um, and on that as well um, is a, a set that I did in uh, April. Um, it was my first ever like live performance, like as myself, mm -hmm. uh, as a one man band sort of thing. So um, there is a there is a set on that as well for you to enjoy. Fantastic. Oh, if you've got uh, WAV files or MP3 files, send them in to me here and I'll, I can play them. Yeah, sure. and, and the same again yeah. with the, the Edge of You stuff. If yeah, you've yeah. got any MP3s or you know people that have them, totally. get them to email me here and I, I can get them played for you. That'd be grand. Thanks, uh, man. Maybe not local bands as such, but you guys are here and I'm happy to promote anybody oh, to do anything. That's really kind. Thank uh, you. Thank you. So, yeah, please, please do. Uh, okay. Let's move on to track number four. Okay. okay. Uh, track number four, again with a self-explanatory title, I like simple <laughs> titles, uh -huh. it's called Irony, it's called Irony, um, and it is one of the lighter moments, mm -hmm. possibly, of yeah, the show, definitely. it's a little funnier, there's some good props going on if you if you make it along <laughs> okay. to the show, I'm all about this props. We have a lot of great props. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just, Missing just, the props tonight, of course. Yeah, but, sadly, yeah, but yeah. Um, and it's really <laughs> irony is 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 basically about how we, as a kind of uh, Western society, choose to embrace some elements of foreign culture, many elements of foreign culture, yet seem so afraid of of the rest of it. On you go, guys. Thanks. <laughs> oh. 20 pound Ryanair return to Lanzarote Gap year spent getting smashed with Aussies Hindu to Sante tattoo in Sanskrit White person dress because Shakira rocked it Yeah, we want to preserve our Britishness Pakistani salons cause their brows are on fleek 10 pounds on halloumi cause the best food is Greek 3am curries, Taj Mahal selfies But we will not let them come into our country do you see the irony? That we embrace the conveyor belt of foreign experience, yet maintain the illusion we are somehow exempt from the rules and restrictions we impose on us.
others when it comes to us now nah, the options are limitless with globe trotting impetus we form us a pick and mix of gap years hindu sabbaticals erasmus as westerners borders don't seem to exist for us we are expats not immigrants migrate in our millions yet britain helped only a train load of syrians do you see the irony that I was applauded for making my living performing on foreign streets. I was interviewed by EasyJet, praised for my initiative. Yet what I really did was compete with local artists, take the lion's share of it, and feel that I deserved it because I was different. Do you see the irony of my indulgence in gluttonous exile? Meanwhile, thousands upon thousands are ousted from their homelands just to be called intruder with refuge refused by those with the power to help them. Do you see the irony? We worry one dangerous person will come, so deny their entire nation. Yet our troops invade them with our weapons, agendas, and alleged protection, and we still expect our vacations. Do you see the irony? Do you see the irony? Because I did not see the irony. Or, well... Perhaps I ignored the irony. How our lives reek of privilege. We've not been taught limits when it comes to ownership. We know only to take. It seems we do not think to give. We can work anywhere. As au pair, barman, tour guide, teacher, yet an unfamiliar accent sees us question their place here. How empathy deficient. What obstinate vision. If we go abroad to get wasted, why can't people come here for safety? The flaws on display are outrageous. Seems we close our own eyes and we tie our own blindfolds. We choose to back down, to opt out, and, well, for what? That was irony. Uh, performed by Imogen Stone and Ross Oliver right here in the session on 107.6. Again, thank you, so thank you very much. I, 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 I scribbled down a wee note there about that expats, not immigrants thing. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I, I, always, I always try and pick something out of a song, but yeah. your, your, your songs are your tracks have got so much in them I don't know what to comment on <laughs> and it's making it quite difficult for me oh, taking notes and everything I'm, I'm, sorry, notes everything. I'm, I'm trying to take notes here no, I don't need to apologise it's absolutely fantastic I'm really oh, enjoying oh. myself um, we've got time for another song we've sure. still, still got time we've got time for a fifth one sure. but before we move on to that can you tell me again both of you yes. uh, your Facebook pages your SoundCloud pages uh, and let me know how people can be in touch of course. the easiest way for people to be in touch yeah. Um, well, I mean, I compile it on my, on my various channels on my website, which is imogensterling.com. Um, but I also am Imogen Sterling Poetry on Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best ways to reach me. Yeah. Uh, best ways to reach me is my Facebook page is Ross Somerville Musician slash Composer. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, SoundCloud is Ross Somerville Composer. Um, I'm also available on uh, mm -hmm. Instagram as uh, at sombreroville91. Som <laughs> okay. Sombreroville91. Sombrero <laughs> and b before we move on to our fifth song, sure. uh, mention again where the Fringe Festival gig is, the Storytelling Centre? It's at uh, the Story Scottish Poetry oh. Library. It's, it's two Mansfield. minutes away from the yeah. Storytelling Centre, right. so yeah. it's a good starting point. Um, yeah. the, the, show, the show is called Hashtag Hypocrisy. It is at the Scottish Poetry Library, 7 p.m. from the 8th until the 12th of August. So that is starting a week today. Yeah. A week tonight. Oh, well. Five nights back to back. <laughs> Five nights back to back. Yeah. Uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Well, let's move on to Thanks our, so our final song. Sure thing. Oh, great track. Track. Cool. Whatever we want to call it. Um, <laughs> this is a nice, this is actually the final, the final poem of the show. Um, which we haven't really shared that much, but I think it's no. a nice way to end the show tonight because it's very uplifting. It, it ends on a on a more positive note than okay. much of the rest yeah. of it. I just wonder. <laughs> it does. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. You don't. You don't leave feeling sad. <laughs> um, and it's simply called "It's Okay." Yeah. It's okay to feel completely overwhelmed. It's okay to feel everything sometimes and nothing at others. It's okay to want to turn off from it all one day until the next when guilt grips and the conflict rips at you and you scream not in my name. It's okay to want to hide from the news, want to climb into bed, want to drink, to run, to close your eyes, to feel like a tiny speck of nothing because you're made to feel like a tiny speck of nothing in the face of it all. It's okay 
Because, hey, what is people power if not the collective behaviour of a thousand specks of nothing? You are doing okay. You are doing okay. Just stay mindful. In a world constructed primarily from innocence, retain perspective. In a world where you are handed the platform of privilege, use it to reject the fallacies and retain perspective. In a world where Muslim civilians stood on streets blindfolded, arms outstretched to welcome and embrace or attack while guilty of nothing, retain perspective. In a world where children had to protect their names by creating not my Islam, retain perspective. In a world where people are forced to your shores, seeking a hand, not bringing hostility, retain perspective. In a world where the personal is political, it is inevitable the power lies in the individual. And when you have been born with more power than many, there must be no question that you retain perspective. For there is no room left for botched excuses or hidden truths. When you retain perspective, you reclaim direction, and we are near the extent of pretending bewilderment. The time is imminent to think independent of influence, to see without blindfold hindrance. After all, the answer is quite simple. View people as people. When you truly do so, there is no space for ignorance, intimidation, or prejudice. When you view all people as people, return to the basics, lead with the basics. This uncluttered vision will instigate change, and that, that is entirely true. That was It's Okay by Imogen Stone and Ross Somerville right here on the sessions on 107.6. Guys, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Good luck us. and all the best to the Fringe Show. Thank you. Thank you very um, much. If you've got any other gigs coming up, October time, September time, if you know, a few, few months down the line, mm -hmm. be in touch. Text me for or e sure. email me and let me know. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've recorded the show tonight, as I mentioned, off air before, so I'll be playing some of these songs Perfect. in the next few weeks or so. So, uh, cool. Yeah, please, please do be in touch again and you're more than welcome to come back in. Thank you That's so fantastic. much. Can't Thanks back for having Thank us. You. That's <laughs> it from Imogen Sterling and Ross Somerville for tonight. I'm going to continue the sessions with a track from a band called the Cold Town Daisies. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>